My name is William Parker. I was born in 1952, Bronx, New York. And I'm presently working as a musician, improviser, composer, and world traveler, uh, presenting concerts uh, throughout the world. Europe, America, Japan, South America. My first musical inspiration, I would say, was listening to early saxophone players like Coleman Hawkins uh, playing in the genre we call jazz. Also, Ben Webster, Don Bias, um, listening to uh, the Duke Ellington and Count Basie Orchestra, and eventually funneling down to John Coltrane's music and the music of the Modern Jazz Quartet and also the music of Ornette Coleman and uh, Albert Eiler and Sun Ra and Cecil Taylor, Archie Shepp. Music is anything that's beautiful. Uh, I define music like the uh, Sufis, that music is the element that makes anything in life beautiful. Uh, there's music in a sunrise and a sunset, there's music in children, there's music in flowers, and uh, sometimes music will manifest itself also as sound. But music is, is the element that brings unity and harmony to the world. Uh, it's sort of the glue that binds all the, the great uh, forces for good together. It is the uh, music is the ink on a peace treaty that, uh, that never gets washed away. <laughs> Silence is a subtonal area in music. There is uh, lots of, there is nothing known as nothing that is complete silence. Within silence, we begin to hear things in the subtone world. Um, and uh, thinking of, of things that are softer than silence, and then thinking of things that are louder than sound. Uh, silence really doesn't ever, ever exist. Silence is another form of sound. Silence is almost like the brother or sister of sound. They come from the same place. A lot of people say silence is the absence of sound, but I would say that silence is a, another um, manifestation of sound. younger I read the uh, compassionate teachings of Buddha that was very inspirational to me the poet uh, Kenneth Patchett uh, the writer Julius Lester the uh, filmmaker Stan Brackage the filmmaker uh, Bruce Bailey the filmmaker Ken Jacobs um, filmmaker Jean-Luc Godard they all had a, a influence of making me aware of many things that I would not have been aware of if I had not experienced their work. Um, 
also there were certain teachers and people, individuals that I ran into during my uh, school years that also helped change my life. A teacher by the name of Vincent Vassallo and uh, a teacher by the, we called Mr. Slotkin who taught me about Plato and, uh, and about philosophy and about thinking. Uh, so it opened up an area in me to be able to think for myself. I, it was a very important uh, idea to be able to think and formulate ideas and to question what I read and to question what had already been discovered. We know a little bit about life. We don't know that much about death because no one who's died is actually alive right now. So... Um, I think right now I think that it's our job to just live life and if through life we can discover something about death that would take the fear out of it, that would give us understanding of it, then I, I'm all for that because I think we have to understand death. But I don't know exactly what it is at this point. Uh, and I've been thinking about it. I think about it every day, but I'm not sure I'm getting any closer to really understanding what it's about. But uh, I think the more if we, can just, if we can just understand what life is about, then maybe we can really understand what, what death is about. Because I know we can see what's alive, but we can't kill ourselves and then find out what death is about and then come back and then tell others. But we can feel life and maybe make some connection to death because we are dying every minute that we're born and we're all going to die. No one gets out alive. Mm -hmm.